Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. So today we're gonna celebrate birthdays with a fun, happy birthday card. So the stamp set we're gonna use today is Happy Celebrations. It's out of the annual catalog, the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. So here it is. Now, this stamp set just makes me happy for so many reasons. I love the different shapes, the little splotch here in the back. I just love that one. And then, of course, the different happy birthdays. So you can stamp it, and then you can stamp your happy birthday um, on top and do some fun things with it. And then, of course, there's lots of different things that we can be happy for, birthdays, babies, and all kinds of stuff. So I just thought this was a fantastic stamp set and uh, it is in the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. So um, the card that we're gonna make today is this fun card. Yeah, what do you think? It's nice and colorful, and it just makes you happy. I love the little splotches and stuff, and then I added some of the, uh, bright, um, the bright collection enamel shapes. So that's what these little dots are, and then of course the little star. And check this out, the happy. I bet you're wondering now, how did she get the different colors? Well, I'm gonna show you today exactly how I did that. It's super easy, it's really fun to do, and I hope you give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so what do you need to get started? Well, um, it's pretty simple actually. I have Whisper White in Basic Black for cardstock. I have Archival Black ink, Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral, but you could use Pumpkin Pie or Tangerine Tango. Um, either one of those will work too. And then I finish it off with real red. So you're gonna want some, a brighter, like a real red as well. And of course I have a sponge here and that's, I'll show you uh, how I'm gonna use that here in a bit. And then stamp and Scrub. You're gonna want your stamp and Scrub and your Mist because we're gonna kind of change colors on our background. And then the other thing you're gonna want is your Pierce Mat. And the reason that you want your Pierce mat is um, Stampin' Up! Photopoly photopolymer stamps tend to stamp a little bit better when you have a little bit of cushion underneath them. So um, I use my Pierce mat. You could use a magazine if you don't have one, so don't worry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and fold our cardstock in half. This is my Whisper White piece. And then once we do that, we're gonna ink up this big Oh, it's kind of a big splotch, you know, with some little dots here. I just really like it. So we're gonna ink that up in our um, Daffodil Delight. We're gonna stamp it right here towards the right-hand side, the very top, give it kind of a good push. And there you go, it looks super cool. And now on the opposite side, I'm actually gonna flip my stamp because I kind of like this, um, this rounded spot right here with kind of all the dots. So I flipped it over and now I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. All right, so here's where our Stampin' Scrub and our Mist comes in. We're gonna spritz it real quick. We have our wet side and our dry side. And one thing that I always do, and it's, you know, it's entirely up to you, but I usually grab a scrap paper and I stamp my stamp, either a scrap paper or use your grid paper. Um, that way you can make sure that your stamp is clean, okay? Now next I have Calypso Coral, so let's ink up in Calypso Coral. That looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna kind of move over a little bit, and I still wanna leave yellow showing, right? Some Daffodils of Light, but I just moved over a wee bit and I'm stamping my Calypso Coral. Gonna ink it up one more time before I clean it and change colors. And I do want to flip my stamp because I did like that a lot. So right here, we're going to add some Calypso Coral. Perfect. And here we go. We're going to spritz one more time. Clean on the wet side. If you guys don't have a Stampin' Up! scrub, these things are the best. I love them. And you know, I've had emails on how do you clean the Stampin' Scrub. You know, I just use a mild soap and I use just, I wash it with my hands. These little um, inserts here actually kind of come out so you can clean them and then, you know, set them up to dry. So I, um, I think it's pretty easy, really. Um, that's how I clean mine. And I do it quite often, actually, because I find that my stamps stay cleaner if I do that. Now I just inked it up in real red, which is a fantastic color. And I'm gonna go a little bit, I'm gonna shift over a little bit more to the left here at the top, and I'm gonna add real red. Perfect. Now let's do the same thing on the bottom. 
Just gotta get it inked up really good here. And we're gonna flip my stamp and we're gonna come right down here to the bottom. We're gonna give it a nice good push, make sure we have everything transferred and it looks great. So I'll go ahead and clean this when we're done, but um, now I'm gonna show you how I made the fun happy. So I already have my happy mounted and I have my archival black. I'm just gonna ink up my photopolymer stamp really good in my archival black. And then I'm gonna stamp it on my Whisper White cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this grid paper out of the way, because it's, uh, it's a little bit in my way there. So this is better. So now I have um, my Whisper White piece and I have my happy stamp. I'm gonna go ahead and push this down really good, make sure I have a good image. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, so now I have the outline. So this is where you can have a ton of fun. You can draw different things inside of the happy with you know maybe a black marker or stamp and write um, journal marker. You can do all kinds of fun things. And of course, you've got all these shapes in the stamp set, so you can really kind of make it your own. But today I'm gonna show you how I kind of got that gradation, um, that look, okay? So here we go, we've got happy and I'm gonna pick up Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna just use my pad and I'm gonna ink up H and A, all right? Then I'm gonna take Calypso Coral and I'm actually gonna flip my stamp around because for me it seemed a little bit easier. And I'm gonna use my stamp pad and I'm inking up, oh, a portion of the A and the P, okay? Set our stamp pad back down. Then I'm gonna pick up Real Red and I'm gonna ink up P and Y, okay? And you know, if you wanted some more orange in there, you could certainly add a little bit more orange. It's entirely up to you. Now this is the key. If you flip your stamp over, you'll be able to see like on the A, there's kind of a line there. Well, we want it to kind of look like it's going from yellow to the clips of coral to the red. And so in order to do that, the best thing to do is just grab yourself a little sponge and just dot it a little bit so that that color um, starts to kind of blend better, okay? And it looks like our red and our Calypso coral are probably okay, but just in case, let's go ahead and just dab our P because I know it's right about there that the color starts to move. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line up. Oh, I found one more spot. I'm gonna fix it right in here. And um, all right, perfect. Yep, so now let's stamp it. So I'm just eyeing this. And you know, this stamp is, is um, it looks like it might be difficult, but it's totally not. And it's not meant to completely fill in the letters. Um, it's supposed to have that artsy look to it. So, uh, you know, don't worry if it doesn't completely fill it in. Okay, so that is a super fun, super fun happy. I love it. Super cool. And so you can see you've got your yellow and then you've got your coral and then it moves on to your real red. So I just thought that was really fun to do. Now what I've got is a, um, honestly this was from my scrap bin. It's a whisper white piece from my scrap bin. I have birthday to you because we are, I'm actually gonna send this to my nephews, um, one of my nephews this week. So I'm pretty excited about that. Kind of nice to already have a birthday card done. All right, so I just stamped happy birthday to you. And um, I'm gonna just kind of let that dry for a second. And while I do that, I've got a piece of basic black and I'm gonna put a little bit of multi-purpose adhesive on the back of my happy. And I'm gonna go ahead and center that inside of my um, basic black rectangle. Now you've got your strip. And you know, it was really kind of funny. I think I've shown you this before. I think my new favorite way to add sentiments on these strips is to actually just wrap it around the back and leave it so that it's, um, it's free to kind of move on the front. Um, it kind of creates that little bit of a bubble and I kind of liked that. Um, I just thought it was sort of a fun way to, um, to kind of pop up your sentiment, really. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my, I'm using my um, Stampin' Dimensionals to hold it down. 
And the reason that I'm doing that is because, well, I'm gonna put Stampin' Dimensionals behind it anyway. So I might as well kind of get a double use out of them um, and use them to hold it down as well. So let's put our dimensionals in each corner too while we're doing dimensionals. And I would definitely put one in the middle. Um, you don't want it to sag, okay? So definitely put one in the middle. Okay, now let's add it to our base. And you'll see how fun it is. See that? Oh my gosh, it just makes me happy. Makes me so happy. Happy birthday to you. Awesome. So, you know, our bold enamel shapes, there are so many different colors. So you could pick any color that you wanted to, but I really liked the yellow. So I used one of the big ones, one of the big dots. And, you know, as far as where to place it, I just kind of picked where I liked it. And every card I stamp seems to be different. So, you know, don't get too stressed out about that. Just kind of set it where you like it. And, um, and then set the little one. I actually used one of these little ones too, one of the yellow little dots. And I just kind of picked a spot where I liked that. And then I used a star. And I put the star right next to happy birthday you. Um, to you, I should say. I just thought that looked really nice. Okay, so uh, that is my happy birthday card. I hope that you liked it and that you enjoyed it today. Super fun to make, really. You could use um, greens, you could use blues, or um, maybe you use like different purples, you know, um, like I did that hello card and I used, I think I used sugar plum, berry burst, and then rich raspberry and maybe fresh fig. That would look super cool. Um, so anyway, you can have a lot of fun with this happy birthday stamp. And this is a card that I made for my team swap. Um, my team and I, we do these uh, swaps. And my, uh, my team is a part of Stampin' Up! And um, we do these swaps so we can give each other ideas and inspiration. And so this is one of the cards that I designed for my team. And I just, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I didn't want my red, real red cardstock to be totally flat. So I stamped these little circles in there. Um, they're very subtle. Maybe next time I would do them a little darker. And then I stamped my, um, I'm trying to think what color I originally started with. Maybe I stamped off the real red and then I stamped it back on with the other stamp, with the, the happy with the straight lines in it, um, the streaky lines. I just thought it was fun. And then I used the silver enamel shapes and I went with stars this time. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed my project today. If you like this project and you're looking for some more ideas and inspiration, my stamp club is up and running and I'm so excited. And uh, for those of you that have already joined me, thank you so much for your membership and for joining. And I hope that you're enjoying it. We gave away our first prize patrol and congratulations to Joyce for winning the brush show. And I'm excited, I'm gonna show you guys how to use that and some different techniques too, because it is so fun to play with. Um, but we have some prize patrols out there, color challenge, uh, you know, some, you know, I'm gonna just share some tips and tricks and some live action out there. So it's just a really fun community to be a part of and um, I'll be sharing lots of uh, extra projects too. So uh, definitely check out my stamp club. It's on brandyscards.com and you'll find it in the navigational bar. Just click on stamp club. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. I'm happy to answer those for you. And of course, if you're new to Brandy's Cards and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, send me an email. I'd love to send you catalogs, answer your questions, and hopefully earn your business. And for all of you that already support Brandy's Cards, thank you. I really appreciate you and, uh, and I hope that um, you continue to stop by and say hi and send me some emails. Thanks guys. Bye everybody.